Hello everybody, welcome back to the second dashboard. In this video, we will see how to import data from the internet. Now let's get started. Now, the reason we need data from the internet is because we would like to convert this US dollar currency into the currency that has been selected in the dashboard. If I select US, then US currency has to be converted into a US currency. That is multiplied by one. But if I select India, it has to be multiplied by 63 or 64 based on whatever the currency rate is for $1 equivalent. So for that, we have to download data from the internet. So why can't we just copy and paste it? Well, that's because it may keep changing as the rate of currency also changes. So to do that, let's uh, make a new sheet. I'll name it sample one. Now to get the data from the internet, we have to uh, first browse through the website. Now to make my work easy, I've actually copied and pasted the link. And so I'll just show you. I have a link to a site I want to use and I simply copy and paste it and I paste it into my browser. And currently I'm using Chrome, so there it is. So currently it is converting a US dollar into a US dollar. So my base is US and the currency conversion is US. Now, say for example, like India, one dollar is equivalent to, as of today, 64 rupees, 46 passe, and so on. And the entire table is provided using the code. This is something that's already available on the internet and which we can download easily. Now, to download the data from the internet, first we have to go to the data tab and under data tab there's an option that says from where and just click on the option automatically a panel appears on the screen there it is now what I will do is I'll just paste the link here and I'll press enter and that will in turn browse the location now this might show an error that's because there are some JavaScripts that are not running properly so I just click on yes Okay, so there are a number of JavaScripts running on this particular page. Now, the hint over here is wherever you see these particular, uh, that's a right arrow, that's a table tab. Now, people who are well-versed with HTML will know that it's a table or a div tag. So to capture all the table tags and uh, put it into Excel, we have to right-click on that right arrow. And once I click it, it becomes a tick mark. And that's an indicator that the table has been selected. And we can see at the bottom, the table has already been selected. So now to import this table into an Excel file, we've already selected a cell. So let's insert, confirm a cell where we want to import it. Or we can actually use a new worksheet as well as per the needs and requirements. So we will go with the current one. So select and click OK. Give it a minute. And as it's done, it will automatically get populated onto the screen. Now, I'll just convert these numbers into a proper format, so that should make the work easier. So I'll just use Control shift exclamation mark that's the shortcut from the keyboard to convert into a number with two decimals. And now, once the conversion is done, I can use this data for my needs. So now, in the last column, this is just a dummy, so this is not necessary. The core column that we will require is the third column. Now, in the future, if the data gets updated, we don't have to do much. Just simply right click and refresh the data. It automatically goes into the internet and updates the data. Also, if someone by mistake uh, deletes a column, no worries. Just simply right click, refresh, and the relevant data appears. However, the formatting will not. So we have to reformat it. And there it is. In the next video, we will see how to convert this data into a tabular format. Because as the user selects uh, the country, like if I say like Indian, it like the Indian currency should be converted to one. Because it has to be compared by base to the in, on the Indian currency. Now, currently, it's been compared by US dollar. So how to create the table is what we'll be seeing in the next video. Until then, keep practicing. See you in the next video. Thank you.